I got Phil Tipitowski here with me from the Young Horses. Everybody has been talking about Octodad, right? We saw a little bit of Octodad, and we know that it looks weird. And we know that we want to see more. So I'm glad that you're here. You Thanks brought the demo. Me. Let's yes, jump in and see what Octodad's about. Definitely. Let's do it. So I, I'm an octopus and a dad? You're both. Great. Uh, but no one knows you're an octopus, but you. Not even my wife? Not even your wife. Wow. Just think about how that works for a second. I, like, I feel like that's going to come up probably right after this wedding. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's going to be an awkward night. So tell me what's going on here. This is obviously, you're pretending to be a human, but you still only have octopus appendages. Yeah, so you've stuffed your tentacles into this, this suit, uh, which we claim is a three-piece, but really isn't, and people like to point that out and mm -hmm. be upset with us. But uh, So you stuffed your tentacles in here, uh, you're walking around, you're all anthropomorphic and such. Yeah. Uh, so you switch back and forth between arms where you're like picking stuff up, yes. throwing it all over the place, and running around here. Uh, it's mostly controlled with the, the sticks and uh, the <laughs> triggers. So. So, so tell us a little bit about how this is how this is controlling. I mean, it's triggers to walk, but right. and 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 kind of sticks to move. But there's a one-to-one -one weirdness going on. Yeah. Here. So you control all of his limbs independently, kind of mm -hmm. like a, a 3D quap in a way. Okay. Uh, but a little less frustrating, a lot more funny, hopefully. <laughs> uh, so if you hold down the right trigger uh, R2, he lifts his right leg up in the air like that. Okay. And then you use the right stick to move it, and then you let go of the trigger and drop it. <laughs> and you do the same thing for the left foot. Uh -huh. This is how you kind of walk around and cause destruction in your environment. Yeah, he's blending in. Which, I mean, isn't all that great when you're actually being watched by people. Because yeah. They start getting a little suspicious. But if you're in a room with nobody else, you can just ride it and just go. So this is interesting. So when you are in a room full of people, yeah. you have to keep your actions looking more human. Yeah, you have to stay inconspicuous uh, so as not to, you know, draw their suspicion. Because, I mean, otherwise you look totally human, so. so. So is is that like is that the main crux of the gameplay here is that you are going to be doing different day-to-day -day things. Right. People are going to be watching and you cannot give away that you are an octopus. Exactly. And I mean, we have a whole overarching story that we haven't even really talked about yet. That's going to be a big surprise to people once we launch, I think. Uh, but you go through a day in his life and this is uh, the first level which is actually like a flashback okay. uh, to his wedding. Well, a flashback dream. So, Octodad Origins. Exactly. Yeah. After this, you wake up in your house and you are so droopy and tired, and you just have to get out there and get some coffee, uh -huh. stuff like that, mow the lawn, important stuff like that. So. So I mean, just the act of like grabbing this key and putting it into this door. <laughs> oh my gosh. I love. Yeah, I mean it's okay. it's easy mode. Yeah, so you guys are seeing here how, how Phil's kind of navigating via the controller. This is what it looks like to take steps. I'm gonna try to put the key in the door. Nicely done. I play this a few times, so. But yeah, I don't know, people come up to it and they think it's like, they're watching and they're like, oh, this seems really hard or like really difficult, but then they play and within 30 seconds to a minute, they're going. Yeah. It's, it's wild. So uh, how, how are, are you using the DualShock for other than just basic control stuff. Are you using any of the advanced functionality of it? Not yet. Uh, we'd like to use the uh, the touchpad for some of our menu stuff as well. Uh, and we'll be adding the rumble and stuff. And we'd also very much like to play with the light bars and uh, tracking that with the PSI. Yeah. Uh, because we want to do move stuff later as well if we can. Oh, that's amazing. Just because, I mean, I feel like it's a perfect fit. And I feel like maybe it's one of the only games where like motion controls actually make it easier. Yeah. You just. So this is cool. Get into the chapel on time. Whoa, okay. That's a thing, you know. Cthulhu Church. I mean, we weren't quite sure what religion he was part of, so we figured we just. That makes sense. That makes go sense that he worships the old gods. And what else would you do? God, I don't know how this tie got up here. Uh -huh. Someone is just a jerk. <laughs> but we're not afraid to make a mess. Sure. At least right now, no one's around. <laughs> this is amazing. Who is, who is in Octodad's wedding party? Well, you'll find out. Okay. But uh, cause we're about to get to the chapel, uh, and Scarlet's family will be there, and uh, you know, you might have someone there, maybe not. There's a giant so gate for all churches. You know. yeah, sure. You gotta have a portcullis if you're a church. Exactly. Uh, when you're designing the control for something like this, right? 
you want it to be awkward. You want it to be lumbering. Right. What's the line? What's the balance? How do you know when it's too frustrating for people? We did a lot of testing. We like we had public tests like every two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, just to see what feels right for people. Uh, and we do want that like awkward funniness, but at the same time, we don't want it to get so frustrating that they're just gonna like chuck the controller through sure. the screen or whatever. Uh, this isn't a Wii, and like. So we do these things where we add kind of these helpful forces to some of his movements. Like when you're walking upstairs, we add a little bit more force to the bottom of your feet to help you out. Gotcha. Because uh, otherwise some of this stuff can get a little bit more uh, frustrating than funny. Who put those banana peels in the aisle? I mean, I assume the priest is just like banana fanatic or something like that, but... So, so you have to kind of slowly, carefully get down this aisle. Otherwise, if you like, knock something over, oh. That guy's drop like, a suspicion and it starts filling your bar. That guy's like, hey, I think that guy may be an octopus. Yeah, they're staring at me. <laughs> they're creeping. <laughs> Only an octopus would break that vase. Oh, God. Oh, are you even going to make it? Maybe. They're all worried. I don't know if I should reveal all these secrets. Yeah, reveal There's the secrets. Spoilers, just grabbing these hidden ties that we have all over the world that you collect. So this is great. So he's he's into accessories. Yeah, I mean, eventually you'll have a tie collection. You'll be able to swap them out and stuff like that. Nice. Maybe we'll get some some DLC in there, like 30 new ties. It'll be great. Sell for like $100. Yeah, micro payments per tie. Yep. Sure. God, this, this donation is... box is like insane. I don't know who goes to this church. There's like the balloon. Uh, obviously, there. people from Hyrule. Yeah. Exactly. Got a hymn board. Him, 10,512. She's just like. <laughs> she's just she's like, so any, happy to anytime. see Anytime. <laughs> I think she's just used to it at this point, but like. Boom. Married. Married. Just like that. Phil, you've made the silliest thing. This is the silliest thing. It's a little weird. Yeah. But yeah. I mean, we're a little weird. Sure. This is great, though. Thank you. Coincidentally, there's eight of us. Nice. Perfect. It's all number. coming together. It's deep. It's, it's like lost. You're like, hey, I like that show. It's a great show. Well, when are we going to be seeing Octodad? Uh, we're going to be seeing Octodad Deadliest Catch, uh, hopefully in spring 2014 for PS4. Excellent. Current plan. Well, Phil, thank you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me. Pleasure to see you. And we have the trailer for Octodad because I know that you want to know more now. The song so is super catchy. Excellent. <laughs>